Hello, couplets. Welcome back to another Bear With Me with me, Bear Elliot. My birthday is right around the corner, and it falls on a wonderful first month of the year, January. That makes me a winterborn. Now, I'm going to talk about an article that is a little old. You're going to be saying, why in the world are you talking about an article that's seven years old? But this article affected me. And it still affects me to this day, and I think about this article every time my birthday rolls around. Now, the article came out of the UK back in 2009, and it stated that winter-born individuals, those of us that were born in the wintertime, are less likely, less likely to succeed, less likely to make money, are the least educated and the least motivated. These are not very good traits coming out of the UK talking about my people, the Winterborn. It affected me a lot, to the point where I created a Facebook group back in 2009 when it came out, and I had a grand total of two members on my Facebook group. Myself and one of my best friends, who was also Winterborn. She's 10 days younger than me. I feel so old compared to her. I learned a lot in those 10 days. But this article, I was always going back to it around this time because I'm like, ah, it can't be possible that yes, those of us born in the winter are failures basically is what it's saying. So I decided, and I'm like, you know what? Seeing as this year I've been doing vlogs every day for 365 days, boy, it's been a lot of talking in this year. I decided to go back and relook at that article from 2009 and see if there's any additional research done in these seven years. There has been none. So basically, this article is still calling us losers. The only thing I found out was there have been several researches since in those seven years in regards to the diet that the different seasons offer to the fetus when they're inside the mother. So it all depends upon what the mother's eating. But it did state that winterborns are the first ones to crawl. Okay, it had something to do with because we're toddlers in the summertime. Doesn't really say anything about our personalities. Yay, I was the first one to crawl so I could be a crawling loser. That's what it's saying. But it is interesting to think about, okay, whatever my mom ingested is kind of affected my brain chemistry and who I am. You don't ever think about that. You think about the external influences that have effects on your personality. Don't ever really think about what happened when mom was, you know, she got a little tipsy. Because, hey, I was a 70s kid. And basically, I think the doctor was smoking when I was inside and he was doing an exam. I'm sure he was lighting them up. And I'm sure my mom enjoyed some highballs or something back in the 70s. Who knows? It's a wild, crazy time. But I'm sure that had some effect on me. And now we do know about, of course, alcohol and that has an effect and nicotine has an effect on babies. But I never really thought about, specifically because I don't have a uterus or a vagina, nor will a child be popping out of me anytime soon. Oh, let's hope not. If it does happen, that is a great thing because I'm going to be a millionaire. Because I don't know a lot of guys, except for transgendered guys that happen to still have their uterus and all that stuff down below, that have been able to produce a child. If it comes out of a, like, uh, I don't even want to think about it. That's just, oh, talk about constipation. Ooh. But it really got me thinking. I was like, so because of what our parents ate, because we were basically inside our moms during the summer and the fall that impacted our laziness, inability to be successful. Although there's a lot of successful people that were born in January, so I don't know why this article always bothers me, especially seven years. And I've been holding up this angst for seven years, and I guess it has an impact on me. So I'm kind of curious. Hmm, is this article right? Or is it just because my mom decided that she was going to enjoy popsicles? while I was inside of her. And that's why I'm not very successful. Oh, no, I'm really not. If I was successful, I'd be definitely living in more than a one bedroom apartment and have two cats that kind of have attitude problems. Somehow this vlog just became really, really depressing. But 
I do enjoy being a winterborn because I enjoy the winter. I love the snow, even though we didn't get any today. And I love all the things that winter has to offer. Cuddling, movies, and inside activities. Oh crap, that basically made me lazy. Well, I hope that you enjoy your season you're born in. And until next time, bye Cublet! I could go out in the dark and see you calling my name. I hear you shouting, hear you calling, but it's not the same. Every word that you are throwing right into my back doesn't matter to me, cause I'm keeping my trick. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go.